Hey, what's up? It's Kip. Time for another video. Today, we're going to be tying assist hooks on spade head hooks. And as you see, I've already started there. But before we actually continue, um, some things that you actually need. Whoa. Okay. Uh, by the way, these are rear hooks. I'm going to be using this uh, cord right here so that it's visible because if I use my usual black you wouldn't be able to see because I have a black shirt on. This cord, eh, it doesn't have a core, okay? But if you're if you're doing this for your front hook, you need ones that have a fluorocarbon core. The hook, we're using Owner Jigger Light JF27s. Flash, I'm just using this because this is what I have and uh, you need a knife. Scissors to cut your uh, cords with. If you want to be very consistent, especially when you're still starting out, you need a pen, okay? A Sharpie, a marker, just so that you could get the, the right lengths. For this to be very clean, I have here a pair of needle nose pliers that have a smooth inside. As you can see there, there are no grooves. There's, there are no uh, notches. I'll show you how I use this later on. Um, kind of important to actually kind of make things really clean. So to start with, what you need to do is actually measure half of the length of the shank before it starts to bend. And for me, it's right there. What I do is mark that with a marker. So once I mark that with a marker, what I do is take my braid or my cord like so and mark the length from the eye and then I insert it onto the hook like so. Okay, so I thread that. Now before I even take that there, what I will do is uh, put some put a thread base. Not gonna be a lot, but it's going to be, make sure that it's actually tight. And that's just going to be a place where, where the whole space is going to be non-slip. So I take this off, move it on top like that. Okay, now it's in position. Put a, a drop of super glue. By the way, yeah, I, I think I forgot to mention this. Put a dab of super glue just a little bit on the shank right there. This is just for insurance. Take your, your pliers, hold this at a bit of an angle. And what that does is that every single wrap that you put in will actually go on top of the last one. A little dangly hook right here. But what we could do is actually just do it like that. And it'll be easier. You'll know if you're actually doing this um, with the right tension because the the braid kind of turns transparent almost. Just add a drop of super glue. Not much. And then what you could do now is actually just try to clean it up as much as possible. Just like that. Okay. Now you can get finish or you can do whatever knot you use to finish your assist hook ties. For me, I use the whip finish. And just like that. Okay. And when you're done, put another coat of uh, super glue just to make it nice and shiny. But that's basically it. Now, what you do next is attach the solid ring. From there, it's just a matter of putting your solid rings. Okay, so. Okay, so we have one loop in, like that, twist, as per usual, so you don't have to see this detail. Okay, pull tight. Okay. 
there's your assist hook nice and tidy professional looking so if you have hooks that kind of are misaligned all you have to do is just do one and one half turn and pull let go boom there we go a little bit of adjustment there but like that measure it against the jig that i uh, made it for and there you go perfect all right so let's do another one all right for the second one um we'll do something a bit simple okay uh what i've done here and i've, I've have one already done but i'll do another variation um you tie this upside down with the hooks upside upside down and i'll show you in a bit but what you need to do first is actually take your braid or your cord and then you do an overhand knot which is just that knot right there you tighten it i mean really really tighten it and the end here what you need to do is uh cut it so i'm gonna cut it and i'm gonna cut it with a little bit of tag left I promise you this is the easiest way to tie a system. <laughs> Probably the only one you'll need. Okay, so you have a little bit of fluff there and you take your lighter and just burn it off. Okay. Now how you get consistent lengths is exactly the same way you do you take your jig, you take the length of the jig, and then double it up. For this particular one, it's very easy because, again, you mark your hook. Okay, make sure that it's holding the hook really tight there. So, I mark the hook where the half point of the hook is. In my case, it'll be there. Like that. So you can see it there. And then I will take my thread and lay a thread base. Go back to the end or the start. The uh, spade head. Okay. And this is so easy, guys. It's crazy. Put a drop of glue. So this ensures that your threads will be soaked in super glue and it will have that um, glue soak into the braid as well. Just like that. Okay. Then You take two wraps, okay, just so you would be able to align everything, and then spiral down to position like so, and pull. And you can see that it's already actually <laughs> secured <laughs> just by the super glue but the super glue is just there to help you line things up and then you wrap so while you wrap like this okay you, you can either do this as i said with the assist hook tips video having a rotary vice makes it easy as you can see i'm not even bothered by the uh by the other end right there okay just wrap if you have thicker braid 
for the wrappings it's actually faster but i like this small one or the thin one just so i could actually do more wraps which makes this assist hook strong the connection okay and i mean for me i can make them cleaner with the thinner line there we go and for the last time i will adjust this there we go so that it's super centered there now you do your um, locking knot it could be half hitches it could be whatever knot i'm using a whip finish there we go that's it and then you put more glue but see the thing is with this one it already has some glue sticking out so what i'm gonna do is just try to spread it like so and then i'll go back again later and uh, refinish it because i don't want to do the batches separately so that's it and this is not gonna come off and if you think that this is something that won't work this is how Shimano actually makes their assist hooks. Okay, very, very elegant actually. Very easy and quite fast. Now for me, the only variation that I did, because I, I do something similar, and I chose to show you first because Shimano uses this. Mine, what I do, okay, as you can see here, I have the knot there, and I bind the... Uh, tag in that way when this gets pulled the knot gets tighter this knot right here and it will prevent things from actually kind of slipping so it's the same thing only this one it's uh well it's practically the same thing for me it's i don't know i felt comfortable doing that a long time ago and then uh, majority of my assist hooks are actually tied like the first way um nowadays so from here it's just a matter of actually putting it in your hook puller like so putting your split rings and you're done so the method for putting the uh, solid rings it's actually the same for when you use hooks with eyes because that really doesn't affect it but that's that's two i'm gonna show you a third one okay so we'll do the third method um still the same hooks take two all right so <clears throat> again with your fly tying vise make sure that it's holding the hook securely I am going to see right, there we go braid is kind of slippery to tie with I prefer braid more than um, ordinary fly tying thread because it's a lot more durable okay so you have that then what you do is take your cord okay and flatten it so the reason why you flatten it is so that when you actually bind them and you bind this like this okay you start out with the braid actually going back now what you do is actually not center it you push it towards the side 
like so like that and then make a an overhand knot like that and then flip it over and uh, have the knot centered what you do is actually tighten it super super tight like that okay and then wrap until give it like th three four wraps because this is intention you're pulling it okay so it stays in place and then all you have to do is you just drop wrap back like that the reason why you push it aside like i did is because while you're doing the wraps it's actually gonna move towards the middle so you get something that's uh uniform like that and uh you're pretty much done okay and then all you have to do after this is just add super glue for me super glue is just a uh, protection um it's not there to uh make things stronger it is just something to protect the whole thing from unraveling so now we're gonna do one with flash just so you could you guys can see so as far as the flash is concerned now if you're using the the method where you put a knot at the end it's relatively easy to put flash on and you put the flash at the back just to show you how that's done because that's the easiest method and you really don't have to go too fancy on things so let's just do that just so you can see now for this the trick is to actually go to the end right there of the wrap and then secure this knot first like so it's gonna want to roll so just uh, learn how to manage it's uh, actually kind of a fly tying trick to compensate for that you actually put it to the side towards you and then when you wrap it's gonna go forward and it's just gonna center itself so just like that okay now that that's there you can flip it around then move a little bit towards the uh, towards the, uh, the uh, hook point okay so from the spade head you take two three turns take a little bit of flash okay like that again I'm putting this from my side okay and as I wrap it will center itself you'll see that right there because it's uh, it, it it'll want to actually um, turn on you it'll want to roll and if you put it in the center immediately what happens is that once you make your turn it'll go towards the far side of the hook okay so um, what I want to do is actually not have too much there so for me I like when I put flash I want I want them short like that and then all you have to do is just wind back and as you can see there you have a nice tapered head that's it and if you look at that that's actually quite clean okay tag on the bottom tighten cut and that's ready to be coated by either your epoxy or another run of super glue that's it it's easy it's fast clean now when you're doing single hooks like take for example for uh, for fast jigging it's pretty much the same okay the only real difference is that you're using braid that you splice okay and splicing is well there's there's a lot of videos online really um it's like this okay so this is a uh, splice let me let me show you how that's done um because it's actually kind of easy uh this is owner this is 140 and there's other stuff from varivas and uh other companies 
All right, so I have my rigging needle here. Okay, all I have to do is just put this inside. So I'll thread it, okay? And uh, a lot of people say go, go on the, uh, what do you call this? Go in the middle. You don't actually, you back it out a little bit just before the middle. And the strand that you're going to put in will be longer, okay? That's the longer part. So just before the middle, okay? Put it through. Uh, hold on. Actually, let's put a uh, solid ring. So put a solid ring, okay? And then take your braid. Pull it through. And what you want to do here while you're doing this is actually pull the cord and tighten it so that it grips this end and bang there we go so you can see there's actually a uh, a part here that that sticks out this is why you want that length and i'll show you why when you insert you insert it at the middle going through both of them like that and you're piercing and going through the outer cord and the inner cord like so and because you're doing that there's actually kind of like a step so that when you tie this it will be very very smooth the transition is going to be very smooth so i'm going to show you that now okay so all i have to do is just burn it and then it disappears just like that so little things that make things uh you know <laughs> um cleaner and then from there you just super glue or you epoxy or whatever you want the uh, uv if that's your choice but there you have it all right so uh anyway this is kind of a long one for this section alone we actually are at 23 minutes so yeah anyway hope this is helpful um i know that there's uh, a few guys out there that are looking for ways to make things faster to make things cleaner and all that so i really hope this helps you guys and uh yeah that's it for now thank you so much for watching i really hope you learned something and class is missed See you in the next one.